Hola, welcome to numero says of the series. We've learnt so much already so far, so let's put it all into practice and wrap it up into a nice little flow. I hope you're ready and let's get going. <laughs> Let's just dive right in. So bring in our feet about hips distance apart, looking down, lifting all 10 toes, if you remember this from the first class, lowering each toe down at a time, closing the eyes, bringing our chest upright, broadening the shoulders, allowing the arms to rest alongside the body. Dropping into our breath and connecting to this ujjayi breath. And let's remind ourselves what that is. So bring in one hand in front of the face, taking a deep breath in through the nose and sighing out as if you're fogging up a mirror. Remember that constriction in the back of the throat, inhaling through the nose, exhale through the mouth, sealing the lips, inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the nose. Maintaining that breath throughout these next 15 minutes. Let's slowly open our eyes, reach both arms round and up as we inhale, straightening and lengthening the spine. As we exhale, let's reach the right hands up and over towards the right side, bringing the ribs in relaxing the face, pressing into the feet, inhaling, reaching up, and then leaning and reaching over towards the left side, any amount. Feeling the stretch all along the right side from the right foot to the right fingertips. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhale, lean towards the other side, feeling that stretch along the left side. Ribs in, feet are pressing down. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale to the other side, relaxing the face. Inhale, coming up. And then as you exhale, let's lower the hands down onto the hips, bending the knees and using the hands to help encourage the tipping of the hips as we come forward into a forward fold. So bending the knees as generously as you can. Okay, and then lowering the hands down to the ground coming into our forward fold, inhaling, lifting up halfway, straightening the legs, placing the hands onto the thighs, shins, or tops of the feet or ground. As you exhale, forward fold, bending the knees as generously as you can, bringing the belly close to the thighs. They don't need to touch. As you inhale, let's unravel, coming back up to our mountain pose, Tadasana as slow as you can, working with the natural curves of the spine. As you come up, loop the shoulders up and back. Take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, let's undo the curl. So recurl your chin in towards your chest, round the shoulders forwards, bending the knees and then continuing to lower the upper chest down, bend the knees, lowering the hips, coming into our forward fold. Mm. Inhale, lifting up halfway, whichever variation you feel most supported in or want to try out. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. It's coming into a flow, inhaling, sweeping the arms round and up, reaching the arms up, gazing up, as you exhale, palms together, coming down, bending the knees, coming into our forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, unroll, coming round and up, looking up. Exhale, hands through center, bending the knees, forward folding. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Exhale, let all that air out of the belly. Inhale, reach round and up. 
Exhale, smile this time as you come down. Staying in this forward fold, you can start to straighten and bend one leg using your hands or fingertips to support you. And remember, we wanna try and find some organic movements in this forward fold. So you can walk your fingertips side to side to start off with and get a little bit more experimental and funky. Can even just hang loose in a forward fold. Or bring in one hand underneath your face and opening out to a twist, bending the right leg, straightening the left and switching side to side. So I'm gonna say, let's take three breaths in this forward fold trying out anything that you might want to have. You might even go rock the boat and walk the hands forwards and walk the hands back and see how that feels. Be conscious of your hamstrings. So if your hamstrings are really tight, keep your knees bent and they'll slowly develop flexibility over time as you come into more forward folds and more stretches. But pee patient with the body. <coughs> Be patient. Don't pee patient. <laughs> now from this forward fold, let's plant the hands down onto the ground and step the right foot back, followed by the left, coming into our tabletop. Remember to bring the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips and coming into our cat cow. So pressing into the tops of the feet, lifting the tailbone as you inhale, dropping the belly. Chest comes through the arms, pressing into the hands, lifting the chin. As you exhale, let's reverse that direction or motion. Chin into chest, doming the spine, belly button in, tailbone down. Inhale, lifting the tailbone, dropping the belly. Chest forwards, exhale. Chin in, arching the spine, belly in, pressing into the tops of the feet still. Inhale, coming into cow. Exhale, coming into cat. One more or two more rounds of this. Let's say two more rounds for good measure. Last round, according to your own breath, And once you've completed it, let's meet in a neutral tabletop, so neither cat nor cow. Pressing into the left hand, start to reach your left, right hand up towards your sky as you inhale. Exhale, thread the right hand underneath and through. Inhale, reach the right hand up. Exhale, belly in as you twist over towards the left. One more time, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, thread it through. This time, inhale, let's reach it up and hold this open twist. Inhale, reach a bit further. As you exhale, lower the right hand down. Coming onto the other side, pressing into the right hand. Inhale, let's reach left hand up. Exhale, belly in as we twist. Reaching, threading that left hand through. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, thread it through. Reach a little bit further maybe. One last time, inhaling. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach it up. Hold this open twist. Belly in, reaching the left hand up. Pressing into the right hand to support you and then lower the left hand down as you exhale. Let's just walk our hands back very briefly so we can sit onto our heels, or you can tuck your toes under and sit onto the heels with your toes tucked under. And let's roll out the wrists for a moment. So rolling our wrists in one direction, and then reverse the direction. So we're putting weight on our hands, it's really important that we sometimes just ease off and give some relief to our hands. 
as they're strengthening or working towards more strength. So come forwards onto your hands and your knees, cross over the shins and walk your hands back and bring yourself to a comfortable seat. So this can be shins crossed or one foot in front of the other. Dealer's choice really. Let's start to loop the shoulders forward, up and back. Still maintaining a steady and even breath. And from here, let's reverse the direction of the shoulder circles. You can keep a soft gaze or even close your eyes now for the remainder of the practice. Let's bring the shoulders back to a neutral position. Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder as you inhale. As you exhale, chin towards chest, inhaling over towards the left, exhaling, chin down, inhale over towards the right. And you know where we're going now, we're just moving back and forth like a pendulum, working with the breath and allowing any tension in the shoulders to just dissolve away. As we become more confident or comfortable with this movement, I encourage you to try making fuller circles as long as the neck feels supported. Let's not force anything or rush anywhere as the neck is quite a sensitive area. Let's just go and approach it with a slow, calm mindset. With your neck loosened, let's bring it back into a neutral position. So let's bring our hands anywhere along the legs, palms facing up, shoulders back and down. Feeling where the body is in contact with the ground. So your sit bones and your legs, making sure you're not leaning towards one side. Both of your sit bones feel even. Start to scan your body from your feet up through the heels, ankles, shins, knees, thighs, hips, spine, belly, chest, shoulders, upper arms, elbows, lower arms, hands, lower arms, elbows, upper arms, shoulders, neck, the head, the forehead, softening the jaw. Let's begin to relax the control of the breath. And watch the breath as it flows in and out of the nose. Start to draw a deep breath in, filling up the belly and the chest. And completely exhale it all out. Take another deep breath in as you slowly open your eyes. And welcome back. So that was a roundup or flow of everything we've learned so far. 
So really good job, guys. We are nearly finishing our first week. We've got a chill rest day planned for tomorrow. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow and namaste.